In this video, I'll show you how to make a virtual production in Blender. Essentially, I want to composite a real people into a 3D scene. I also want to move the camera. If we don't have an animated camera, we can easily accomplish this by compositing the green screen video with any background we want. So, we need to match the movement of the real camera with the virtual one. As a first step, we'll need to shoot a chroma key video. We must add some markers to the background in order to track their movement in Blender. These are a few tips for creating an effective video set. The background of the green screen should be as clean as possible. It should also be evenly lit, with no significant differences in lighter and darker areas. Then, in the background, place some markers. They can be as simple as pieces of scotch tape. Consider that tracking at least 8 markers is required for a good result. However, because some of them may not be correctly tracked or may be hidden by the subject, more markers should be added to the scene. Place some markers in the floor if you're shooting a full-body subject. Consider lighting the subject in the same way that you intend to light the 3D world. Now, shoot the video however you want, but remember to move slowly to avoid having the markers too blurry and out of focus. The video should now be imported into Blender in the motion tracking pane. This is where we will track the markers and create the virtual camera. We've already demonstrated how to track a video. You can refer to it for more information on camera tracking. When we track a live footage, we must look for features that will serve as markers. In this case, however, we manually added the markers, so all we need to do is track them. But, before you do so, double check that the frame rate is the same as when you shot the video. So, create a new marker. By pressing the S key, you can also scale it. Then, select the track button. If the tracking stops, it could be because it has moved behind the subject. You are free to leave it as is. Track other markers until you have a total of at least 8 for the entire duration of the video. You can now solve the camera motion. Look at the solve error. It must be less than 1. If it is greater than 1, as it is in this case, you must check the tracking of each marker. If a tracked marker does not move properly, simply track it again. In this case all of the markers appear to be fine. So, by checking the focal length and optical center checkboxes, we can fine-tune the solution. There are numerous other approaches to optimizing the tracking data. But this is a brief overview. The solution appears to be much better now. You can now set the video as the background and create the tracking scene by pressing the related buttons. In the 3D viewport, you should have the markers and a camera that moves like the real one. You also have some basic meshes, and you can delete them. To access the camera view, press the zero key. The virtual markers should be in the same location as the real ones. It's now time to build the virtual scene. The floor markers can be used to align the ground. In our case, we included this Abbey model. It was created using the photogrammetry technique. And, yes, it was a lot of work because it was an entire building. I also added the grass and some rocks. In addition, I added some simple objects to create a basic mesh of our model. This allows Blender to cast some shadows on the ground. Of course, I set these objects to be invisible to the camera, so they won't be rendered. I can now render the scene. As you can see in the exported images, there are some shadows in the same position as the actor. This simple trick, by the way, works when you have a static actor. Finally. 
We must mix the real video with the virtual scene. You could do it in Blender's compositing pane. However, we did it in After Effects to give ourselves more options. Simply use the Key Light plugin to hide the green background. I won't go into detail on this because it will be covered in another video. After that, you can color correct the scene and export the final video. This is a brief overview of how to create a virtual production in Blender, but I hope it gives you a general idea of how to go about it.